The biggest problem with kitchen sinks is that water spills out the front, onto your cabinet doors, onto your fronts, onto your floor, onto you. I'm gonna tell you why this is such a big deal and what you can do possibly to prevent that from happening. <laughs> this first one you're not gonna like. I hate to even mention it because I'm gonna get roasted for this. It's called a farmhouse sink. Farmhouse sinks or apron sinks are designed so that they have this big apron in the front and that apron helps when water spills over the front of that sink so that it doesn't go directly on the cabinet. And when it's not going on the cabinet and it's just on the front of that sink, it's easy to wipe off, it's easy to see, it's easy to get before it gets to anywhere else. Now yes, water can still splash on you and splash on the floor and that's a different issue. But the farmhouse sink and one of its design features is just that, prevents water from spilling onto the cabinet below it. So having a sink that helps prevent water from getting on the cabinets below is a really great feature. The number one warranty claim from all my years as a kitchen designer has been doors that are damaged on the sink cabinet. You go to the client's house and they say, I don't know what it is, but these doors are chipping and peeling and the paint finish won't stay on them. And you look around their kitchen, and all the other doors are fine. Really, it's just these doors here? Yes. Is it because there's water splashing on them and being left there and not getting dried up? No, I never do that. I always, always wipe up the water. <laughs> okay, but none of the other doors have a problem, just happens to be these ones? No. If you have a cabinet that's damaged by water, you're not gonna get the warranty claim for that cabinet. Of course, I just replace it anyway because I'd rather just have a happy client than us just to be fighting about whether or not you did or didn't wipe off the water on your cabinet doors, which is obvious that you didn't. No matter what the material is that it's made from, having water sit there is never good. Mold can get in there, you don't want that to happen. One of the things you may consider but sometimes gets overlooked is to put a liner in the bottom of that sink base. Water under there, probably at some point, there's cleaners under there that could get spilled. So there's lots of opportunity for water to sit in there. It's Close, there's not a lot of airflow, so that can lead to mold and it can lead to the cabinet swelling or just being ruined. A lot of cabinet manufacturers come with some type of tray that you can put in, but you can find, and even at your local dollar store, these rollout mats that are meant to sit in the bottom of that cabinet to help prevent water from staying on there. At the very least, until you get in there to wipe it up. Water is very, very powerful. It will find its way anywhere and so the more you can do to protect your sink base the longer your cabinets are going to last for you and you're not going to have issues with that base particularly you have a sink base that's starting to get moldy or the doors are starting to peel and they're not matching the rest of the doors anymore it can be a real nuisance i mean they can even have rust issues if you have pullouts and other type of metals underneath there and you just want to prevent that as much as possible hopefully these tips are valuable enough to give this video a thumbs up and help other people see it but there's one more thing that i found on the internet i went and purchased one of these from Amazon just to see if it actually works because it is marketed as a solution to help water from not spilling on you and spilling on your cabinet. A week later, doorbell rang and this arrived. What is this? This is made by Blue Ginkgo. It's a premium silicone sink splash guard. Let's have a look. Basically just this. All right, this is a piece of silicone mold. Looks pretty easy to deal with. So what this does, it sits on the front of your <laughs> okay, this is probably not environmentally friendly, so I don't know if it's a great choice. It's meant to sit, oh my gosh, the smell of this thing. It's meant to sit on, t <laughs> I'm gonna have a link for one of these in the description below, so I shouldn't be saying how smelly it is, because I know obviously I'd want you to buy one for my link, but it's just smelly, I'm sorry. Whatever, I don't care. It just kind of suction cups down onto the front of your sink, and it's enough to let water splash on here and not splash over. Just like that. So it just sits there. All right, so it's a little random. We throw it really hard towards the cabinet. <laughs> Here's the thing. I would have all my dishes done and I'd have my cabinet front wiped up by the time I got this thing to stick. The trick to getting this thing secure is just to place it down, make sure it's dry, and just firmly press along the edges doesn't pop up, see? It was $35. <laughs> you gave $35 for that? We were here for 20 minutes trying to figure out how to get it to stick. Oh my gosh. Once it's secure, it will act as a barrier for water so that when water splashes from doing dishes, it's still gonna go mildly over you. This thing isn't three feet tall or anything. As you can see, water goes on here, hits the sink guard, and it helps it from going all the way over. Will you get some splashing? Of course you will, this is water. All of this water you don't want to be sitting on top of your cabinet door 
and staying there and getting forgotten about so that your cabinet doors get damaged. Whether or not you want to try to use a device like this or not is completely up to you. They're on the market. There's a link below in the description if you want to get one like this. Do I recommend you getting one? I actually do recommend this. And here's why. It makes a great Christmas gift. Merry Christmas, son. <gasps> no way! <laughs> is this what I think it is? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I know what we could do with this. So while I don't highly recommend the sink splash guard for use while you're washing your dishes, it does make a pretty good ping pong net. And if you would like your very own ping pong net, you can check the link in the description below. There is an affiliate link down there where you can purchase your very own. But listen, the very first person who emails me on the email address on the screen, Jack and I will send you this very ping pong net. What do you think of that? They will be happy. <laughs> yeah, or sink splash guards. Yes. So uh, you want to have another round before I ship this thing off? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Now there's always going to be water issues when we're dealing with sinks, but where in your kitchen is the best place to put your sink in a new kitchen or in a renovation? And that's what this next video is going to be all about. Check it out. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like my content. Bye. This is great, Dad. Go ahead.